All right, everybody. So I want to talk about two things today dealing with Final Cut Pro X. The first thing being, how can you free up storage on your computer dealing with Final Cut Pro X? This is completely relevant to Final Cut Pro X. It could be, in fact, taking up all the storage on your computer. When I mean all, I mean all. Like, it takes up a lot if you don't do this thing at least once a month, which I do do once a month. As you can see, it is the top of the month right now. And I'm just doing my monthly clean out. And the second thing I want to talk about, which is actually closely linked to what I do once a month, and this actually helps prevent what happens. See these green frames? Yeah. If you have Final Cut Pro X, then you probably know what these things are like. Annoying, plain, terrible. So let's take a look on how to free up storage first. Then I'll speak a little bit of the green frame issue that you may have. All right, so just go into... A new window and open up finder at this point you are going to want to locate your Final Cut events and Final Cut projects folders and then from there you're going to want to go inside of them and you're going to here I'll do Final Cut projects first you're going to want to go into any of your project folders and you're gonna to want to go to render files and then from there you're gonna see these three folders go through the three folders delete every stinking one of these folders they stand out you obviously didn't make a folder with all these random numbers in it and you just gotta go through and delete all of them now how do you select all of them at once well I'll show you right now in case you didn't know you're going to go shift down arrow make sure you have two selected that's all that matters and then command A and then uh, right click or yeah you know the Mac thingy and then hit move to trash you're going to want to do that for every single one of them. Okay, so once you delete all those things, you may have had thousands of them if you've never done this. And you got every single one of those folders inside of the events and projects folders. Then you're just going to want to go and empty your trash and let it happen. It may take a long time depending on how long you've let this go. But before we do that, I want you to take note of my storage at the moment. I, currently, I have about 200 gigs free. Just keep that in mind. We'll be back in a moment. Okay, so it's finally finished emptying. Now let's take a look at the difference here. Well, yeah, take a look at that. 15 gigs just for deleting those weird number folders with nothing virtually really in them. There were just so many of them that it took up so much space. Look at what that did. Now let's open up Final Cut Pro and we'll address this green frame issue. Alright, so Final Cut Pro is open now. If you look, the whole thing needs to be rendered. Don't ask me why it's at 50 right now. The whole thing needs to be rendered. I can tell because of the orange bar. You can see what my pointer's on right now. So I'm just going to go ahead and let that render. Well, will you look at that? So it's all rendered out and good again, and as you can see, there's no more green frames as I scrub through. Unlike what happened the first time I did this. As you can see, I got tons of these green frames the first time I did this. And I hadn't cleaned out my, uh, my computer yet. Or I haven't cleaned out those folders. That was the main importance of all this. So there you go. You knocked two birds with one stone freed up all that memory and you also got rid of your green frames so like i said do this once a month and you should be good to go see you guys later hd tech buzz is signing off